What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to talk about how to catch a deep ball, how to catch over the shoulder, guys. Today we're going to talk about a couple of the mechanical things you guys to do to make sure you don't drop a pass when it's coming over the top. Let's get started. So the main thing I want to talk about here is we're not going to focus too much on the release or the footwork or anything. We're just going to talk about the stem of the route and then the catch when it's man coverage in a situation like this. So let's watch at full speed, right? So the couple of things I want to talk about is how he continues to get separation and his hands on this catch, okay? And he does the exact same thing on the second route. So when he's in this position, he got separation off the line, right? Alexander's a fast corner who has great recovery speed. So Diggs, if he looks back for this ball too early, right, what's going to happen is he's going to pop his pad level up, he's going to lean back, and he's going to be slow. Now, we can't have that. We want to be going full speed. We want to get about three steps of separation on this corner before we start to look back for the ball, okay? A lot of people, what they do is they get separation on the line of scrimmage. They expect the ball right here. Cousins wants to drop this thing in the end zone. So we got some time to go get some separation get some separation from this db extend our separation and then catch this ball over the top and that's exactly what he does so he's not looking back for the ball until he's got him by about a couple of steps but alexander has great recovery speed like i said so Ball's coming over the top, a little underthrown, right, which allows this corner to come up and make a play on this thing or all, be in the position to make a play, I should say, okay? Now, some people might say he should get his head around and he'd be able to make this play. He doesn't want to get his head around because the second he turns his head around, he slows down, and then this ball's thrown a little bit farther, and then Diggs makes a catch, okay? So he's going to be playing his hands here, okay? So now, what Diggs does a great job of is you see very last second throwing his hands up. Ball's here. He still hasn't even thrown his hands up yet. Last second has late hands. That's what I call it. I call it late hands. Anytime we catch a ball over the shoulder, we want to have late hands because this DB does not have any time to react. Okay, If he was to be in this position and he was to throw his hands up right now or he was to go up and high point this thing, the high point thing is a little bit different because you're kind of taking it away from the DB. But anytime we're catching over the shoulder like I'm talking about, we want to have late hands hands okay that's the most important thing when especially when it's man coverage because you see this db alexander has no time to react and play those hands because the ball is underthrown great recovery speed again but Diggs, being a smart receiver understands the concept of having late hands making this play and that's how this deep ball even works and that's how you catch properly over the shoulder and then also by making sure we look this thing in all the way right he's not looking he doesn't drop this thing in the bucket then peek up field he secures the catch before he even thinks about getting his feet in or thinks about coming up field, right? We got to let this thing drop into our bucket with late hands, secure the catch, look it all the way into the basket, if you will, and then worry about getting our feet down and then worrying about bursting up field if it was an open space, okay? So again, head down, get some separation, late hands, look this thing all the way in. Let's watch it full speed one more time. So again, late hands, look that thing all the way in. So now this is going to be the same situation here, okay? Now this corner doesn't have as good a recovery speed as Alexander, and also he's about maybe a yard or two off the ball, okay? Diggs is off the ball here, so he's got a little bit of room to work, okay? Now that's why he gives his hesitation release. Again, not going to focus too much on a footwork, right? But he's able to see again. Head down, gets separation, fights the hands, late hands. No reaction time necessary or no reaction time available for that DB. So, again, bursting up field, his head straight down. These are NFL corners, right? Okay, I know some of the corners in high school may not be this good, may not be this fast, whatever. But when you get to a collegiate level, when you get to an NFL level, the corners are going to be much faster, much more athletic, bigger physical dudes, right? They're going to be coached obviously well. You're going to get DBs in high school that aren't coached well, okay? They're just out there because they're – athletic but they can't catch that's why they didn't put him at receiver you know what i mean so we got to be able to have a plan and again Diggs does a great job of fighting the arm not looking back for this ball until he knows he's got him by about a step or two i shouldn't say the db had bad recovery speed earlier he had pretty good recovery speed he was able to recover pretty decently but again how do we make this catch late hands this ball's just about to drop in he's not picking his hands up super high he's not letting this thing he's not going to the ball he's letting this thing drop right in the bucket again late hands here no reaction time for this DB. Late hands, no reaction time. And again, you see his eyes. His eyes look that thing all the way into the catch. You see his head turn when the ball comes in. Ball's coming down. Eyes are on the ball. Looks that thing all the way in, making sure he secures the catch. Now he's worried about getting his feet down. It's a great job by Stefan Diggs working late hands and watching this thing all the way in. Guys, I cannot stress it enough. Make sure we get some separation. Head straight down. Late hands. Don't allow him to react and look this thing in all the way to the catch and hell even to the tuck. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So again, bursting up field. 
Late hands, look that thing all the way in. That's a great job, and that's how you improve your catching over the shoulder. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate that. And, guys, if you're a receiver and you want to improve your football IQ, you want to get better at reading coverages so you can put yourself in the right situations to make these big-time plays and be a better student of the game like many NFL receivers are, please check out that link in the description, guys. That really mean a lot to me. Hopefully we can get you signed up on my online training service on my website, and I'll see you guys next time.